There are some spots open on the local yachts. <gasps> And a couple of crew this is where I'm playing a Greenpeace activist. That's right. And later on, I would grow up to become an activist with yes. Greenpeace, largely based on my research and the way I'd met these people we were portraying on the show. And you've been working now with Greenpeace for more than a decade. Yeah, really back in the 80s, I started um, supporting, um, you know, financially making a little donation, whatever I could afford at the time. But um, for since about... 2010, 2010, I got much more involved and then got arrested. Lawless, got Pretty, lawless. I know, but I've always been like, in my mind, like <laughs> I'm a total good girl and a real, not a rule breaker because mm -hmm. I've never had any problem. Really, the rules seemed perfectly sensible to me. But you scaled a ship. We did. We sort of broke into a port, which is very, to, you know, very much not allowed. You know, <laughs> but, but my husband didn't know because if you're going to break the law, you don't make your partner complicit in the crime. Plus, he wouldn't agree. So he woke up one morning, turned on CNN, and there's his wife on top of an oil rig, right? We, oh, he that, was, when did he realize that you then, were coming home? at that home? moment, <laughs> it, was, uh, it shook his world. Because, you know, we're law-abiding people, but in some cases, peaceful civil disobedience is, written, is required, I'm afraid. I like you. Yeah. Yeah.